Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I will show you how to boost FPS and fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 quickly using some of the tweaks and optimizations that I've made for you guys and lined up here in this video. So a ton of people are complaining about the bad performance and low FPS in Fortnite, therefore I'm going to show you how to drastically boost FPS in Fortnite using different optimization, tweaks and settings to get the maximum performance out of your computer. These will make sure that you're getting the best FPS and as low latency or input delay as possible on your machine while gaming. The tweaks and the settings that I'm about to show you guys have helped a ton of people in the past and have been tested by many. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and apply all of these and in case that you want to revert any of these, just make sure to create a restore point before applying this, although it's not really necessary. Anyways, if you want to support my work, don't forget to leave a like on this video and help it reach more people because the more people it reaches, the more it will help them out as well. And also use code Regnetic for further support on the channel. And without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Alright, so we're gonna start off with this Fortnite chapter 3 FPS pack made by me. It's a little pack with not much in it because uh, I wanted to keep it simple and then we're gonna move on to some of the windows settings. So you can go ahead and download this from my website. Since my discord server has been in the working, the links won't be there for a while. So the only way to download this is from my website and there are ads on that website. Just make sure to not click on any ads and just go ahead and download it through my website. Once you download it, it should look something like this with a .zip extension. So yeah, just make sure that it is this then right click extract using 7 zip window or whatever you want then go ahead and open it up once this opens up you will find all of these files inside of it we're gonna start off by services group split and basically we're gonna go ahead and apply the registry file that matches our ram size so in order to check that just right click on your taskbar go into task manager go into performance and then go into memory now as you guys can see that i have 16 gigabytes of memory it's written right here so what i'm gonna do is apply the 16 gigabytes ram so go ahead and apply the reg file that matches your ram size However, in some cases, if your RAM size is not listed here, just go ahead and apply the closest one to it. So for example, if you have 10 gigabytes of RAM, you might want to go ahead and apply the 8 GB one or the 12 GB one. However, I would recommend the 8 gigabytes one. Same thing if you guys have like, let's say 40 gigabytes of RAM, then go ahead and apply the 32 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply 16 gigabytes of RAM, hit yes, hit okay. And now it has grouped all of the services. Your computer will need a restart. So just go ahead, restart your computer or go ahead and restart it later it's really up to you and then come back to follow the steps however once that is done go back into the pack and we're gonna start off by disabling the power throttling so double click hit yes hit okay then we're gonna go ahead and apply the exclusive full screen fix double click on this one as well hit yes and hit okay this is just going to make sure that we're playing the game in exclusive full screen so that we can get more fps and as low latency as possible then fn network tweaks these are basically just some net search commands so right click run it as administrator and then it's gonna go ahead and automatically close it off once the process is completely done moving on fortnite normal priority and i have always recommended playing fortnite on normal priority however i have seen still some people using it on high priority so yeah don't make that mistake just go ahead and apply the fortnite normal priority and you should be good to go and as for the useful tweaks all this is going to do is actually a lot of things it's from my rec os so it's going to go ahead and apply the bcd edit tweaks for input latency it's also going to go ahead and disable the power saving features from both usb and ethernet so it's going to give you better ping as well as lower input delay and then there is the disable spectre and meltdown disable telemetry and disables process mitigations all of the credits for the tweaks that are not mine are also inside of here so feel free to check those out so go ahead right click on it run it as administrator and then just go ahead and let it do its work Alrighty, so once this is done, it's going to automatically close itself and now you can go ahead and close out of the pack and delete it if you want, it's really up to you. Moving on, we're gonna be turning off the background apps because those use a ton of resources and they really cause a lot of FPS drops. So in order to do that, open up your start menu and search for background. They should be right up here, like background apps. Go ahead and open those up. Once this opens up, just make sure that let apps run in the background is turned off like this. There's no need for you to go ahead and turn it on, you can always launch these apps whenever you want just don't let them run in the background consuming resources so yeah once you are done with that close out of this then we're gonna go ahead and set up game mode and game bar so once again go to your start menu and search for game mode go ahead and open it up and just make sure that the game mode is turned on as for the xbox game bar make sure that this is turned off and this is also unchecked then go into the graphic settings under the related settings then what we're gonna be doing is setting this to desktop app also if you guys have hardware acceleration right up here 
and your computer supports it just make sure to turn that on in my case my gpu doesn't support it so i'm just gonna leave it be however what we're gonna be doing inside of here is set this to desktop app and then go ahead and browse our game so as you can see that i've already added fortnite as well as valorant so yeah just go ahead and add their exe and go into the option set this to high performance save and now you can close out of this up next are some of the mouse and keyboard settings so open up your start menu once again search for mouse go ahead and click on change mouse pointer display or speed this one and you should be under the pointer options however if you are not just change it to this and then just make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and this slider is set to the six bar right here so slide it all the way to the left then using the keyboard arrow keys press the right arrow key five times so that would be one two three four and five and it should be on the sixth one hit apply then go ahead and hit ok go back to the start menu once again and this time search for keyboard go ahead and open up the keyboard settings and just make sure that repeat delay and repeat rate are both set to short and fast and then hit ok moving on we're going to be disabling the hardware acceleration on google chrome in case you use google chrome it's highly recommended that you do this so open up your google chrome and then what we're going to be doing is go into these three dots go into the settings then go into the advanced settings and go into system under this what you need to do is turn off the continue running background apps when google chrome is closed as well and then also disable the use hardware acceleration when available this is going to need you to relaunch google chrome so i'm just gonna go ahead and close it but you can go ahead and relaunch it and this setting should be applied and then one more thing that we're going to be doing is adjusting the windows appearance so go to start menu once again and search for adjust go ahead and the appearance and the performance of windows click on this one and then go ahead and set it to adjust for best performance however there are some things that we're going to be checking so those are the smooth edges of screen font show thumbnails instead of icons and those are the basically two most used so go ahead and hit ok your windows appearance might change a bit but that's completely fine and normal as it is going to help you increase performance however if you want to get even more performance and even more fps in fortnite then check out this video right here as it will help you out a lot